John's time in the Continental Congress earned him the nickname Honest John Hart. John Hart. John Hart. John Hart. Honest John Hart was born in 1713 to a family of farmers and public officials in New England. The exact place and the date of his birth is unknown. In fact, much of John's life has been lost to history. But what is known of John, however, shows us just how wonderful of a man he was. After John inherited the family's 400 plus acre estate following his father's death, John started his own family and was married to Deborah Scudder in 1741, and the pair of lovebirds went on to have 13 children together. In 1750, John started his political career when he was elected to the Hunterdon County Board of Chosen Freeholders, which basically is a council of wealthy landholders who help create policies for their county of New Jersey. He served here until 1771 when he was appointed to the Committee of Safety and the Committee of Correspondence and eventually as a judge on the Court of Common Pleas. John was known for his wisdom, his stability, and his good judgment, which made him very popular. This, as well as John's previous experience in the local and state government, made him an excellent candidate for the 1776 Continental Congress. As the British became more and more oppressive to the colonies, John's distaste for them grew and grew. He particularly disliked the Stamp Act, but wasn't the type of a man to be overly outspoken about it. Nevertheless, John was able to contribute to the revolutionary cause by voting in favor of independence and signing the Declaration of Independence on the 4th of July, 1776, at the age of about 60. His time on this important committee earned him the nickname Honest John Hart. As the Revolutionary War took its toll on New Jersey late in 1776, John's family was forced from the family estate as the farm was raided by the British. John was on the run from his enemies for the next several years, but his wife Deborah got very sick during their travels and couldn't continue any further. In a heartbreaking turn of events, John was forced to leave his wife's deathbed as the British troops encroached upon the place where they were staying. John spent the next year on the run, never being able to rest, and often spending the night in the stable with the animals in case the British came unexpectedly. Finally, as the British were pushed out of New Jersey, John was able to return home, only to find that his family's estate was in shambles. And with his own health deteriorating very quickly, John was never able to restore it to its former glory. John suffered from kidney stones for six months until his death in 1780 at the age of about 67. Although he never personally recovered from the effects of the Revolutionary War, he was able to live long enough to see the tides turn in their favor. Charles Augustus Goodrich writes of Honest John Hart. The personal appearance of Mr. Hart was uncommonly interesting. In his form, he was straight and well-proportioned. In stature, he was above the middling size, and when a young man was said to have been handsome. In his disposition, he was uncommonly mild and amiable. He was greatly beloved by his family and friends and highly respected by a large circle of acquaintances who often appealed to his wisdom and judgment in the settlement of their local affairs. In addition to this, he enjoyed the reputation of being a sincere and humble Christian. How would you like the word honest being put in front of your name? Now that is something to work for. The end.